interesting to see the black communities in Chicago and New York screaming bloody murder now because these illegal immigrants are coming into your towns, being sent into your towns to take over your, sh to take over your shelters for your homeless, take your jobs, everything. And now you're pissed off? I've been warning you folks, you black folks in the inner cities for years. The white liberal politician is your enemy. Malcolm X said it in 65 in a speech. The white liberal is the black man's enemy. He's a fox. He's a... He says that he's going to help you for his own personal agenda. And here is another fucking example of that. But yet you'll keep voting for these white liberal politicians that give a f about you. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. I am the Democratic Party right now. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. We choose unity over division. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. I got Lana, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. We go back a long way. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I am the Democratic Party right now. In this crooked game of power politics here in America, the Negro, namely the race problem, integration, civil rights issue, are all nothing but tools used by the whites who call themselves liberals against another group of whites who call themselves conservatives, either to get into power or to retain power. Among whites here in America, the political teams are no longer divided into Democrats and Republicans. The whites who are now struggling for control of the American political throne are divided into liberal and conservative camps. The white liberals from both parties cross party lines to work together toward the same goal. And white conservatives from both parties do likewise. The white liberal differs from the white conservative only in one way. The liberal is more deceitful, more hypocritical than the conservative. Both want power, but the white liberal is the one who has perfected the art of posing as the Negro's friend and benefactor. And by winning the friendship and support of the Negro, the white liberal is able to use the Negro as a pawn or a weapon in this political football game that is constantly raging between the white liberals and the white conservatives. The American Negro is nothing but a political football. And the white liberals control this ball through tricks or tokenism, false promises of integration and civil rights. In this game of deceiving and using the American Negro, the white liberals have complete cooperation of the Negro civil rights leader who sell our people out for a few crumbs of token recognition, token gain token progress. Any whites who are trying to solve the problem, but you never see them going under the label of liberals. That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is, almost, is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling. You take him for a friend.